Burkitt lymphoma is a highly aggressive B-cell lymphoma with a rapid proliferation rate and one of the fastest growing tumors known to man. It's traditionally treated with very highly intensive chemotherapy, which can be highly successful with cure rates between 66 and 70 percent. However, uh, the toxicity rates are particularly high. In older adults with Burkitt lymphoma, the treatment-related mortality is extremely high and thus limiting the ability to use the highly intensive therapy needed to cure Burkitt lymphoma. So for the patients who present in their teenage years and early 20s, traditional regimens like Codoxam IVAC and Hyper-CVAD continue to be highly effective. But for those patients, the toxicity remains significant, and for older patients, that toxicity is extraordinary, for whom the cure rate for Burkitt lymphoma is therefore much lower because of the inability to give highly intensive therapy. So a pilot study at the National Cancer Institute using dose-adjusted EPOC-R sought to try to use a novel delivery of chemotherapy using infusional chemotherapy with vincristine, doxorubicin, and etoposide, administered over 96-hour continuous infusion, along with increased doses of prednisone, the addition of etoposide, and, and, um, uh, and dose intensification based on the tolerance hematologically to try and use lower dose therapy to achieve success in Burkitt lymphoma. And the pilot study as published in the New England Journal of Medicine looked excellent. So right now that's been expanded into a multi-center phase two clinical trial to validate those single center results. The interim analysis was presented at this meeting by Dr. Kieran Dunleavy from the NCI. And what that showed is the vast majority of patients achieved a complete remission with dose-adjusted EPOC-R for their Burkitt lymphoma, and the progression-free survival in a median of two years is a remarkable 87%, which is higher than any previous analysis in Burkitt lymphoma, all the while using therapy that's far better tolerated and less toxic than traditional highly intensive measures. So I think this data needs to be completely accrued, and we need a little bit more ongoing follow-up. But what it suggests is that a lower intensity regimen will actually enhance the cure rate of this disease, not only in younger patients, but older patients who previously couldn't tolerate traditional therapy.